In this video, I'll talk about using the sum and difference rules of differentiation, and I'll also talk a little bit about some of the notation that we use in calculus for the derivatives. So first of all, some of the notation. Given some function, f of x, f prime of x is the first derivative. That's the first derivative. Another way to write the first derivative is this d dx. And then in front of that, you would write f of x, or in the numerator, write f of x. And that's not being multiplied there. It's not like we're multiplying fractions. That's just a, a notation that means that we are taking the derivative of the function. So we're, we're taking the, the derivative of whatever is right here. So it's just another, another uh, notation there. So these are the same, or the same function. So f prime and d dx do the same thing to the function. It's, it's giving us instructions to take the derivative. Uh, and, and just to expand that, because you'll see this for sure, if you define some function as, as y, right, or you see, you know, we have an equation y equals 3x to the fifth, well, then y prime would be the derivative, and so would dy dx. These are both the same. Again, just like we have up above, these are both. These are both the derivatives. Or it's giving us an instruction to either take the derivative or, or telling us that what follows is the derivative of y or of the function. Okay, now the sum and difference rules. I, the reason I wanted to point these out is because uh, books kind of make a big deal out of them, but really I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to oversimplify it, but at the same time I don't want you to think that it's some mind-boggling thing. It's, it, it's really just a matter of, um, it almost looks like common sense, and, and there's a lot behind it that, that is really cool and it, why it works, but what we're saying is that if h of x, if we have f of x plus g of x, and we were to take the derivative of the entire thing, or the prime of that, well, we would then be able to say that equals f prime of x plus g prime of x. So you're taking the derivative of, of, of each individual uh, function. And, and it kind of seems obvious to us, but a lot of times in math, you, you can't just uh, say it's going to work just because it, it looks like it should. So there's a lot of uh, good mathematics behind why this does work, but for our purposes, hey, it works, and, and let's use it. So, so if we have uh, 3x to the fifth plus 8x squared, so that is h of x equals 3x to the fifth, that's our f of x, plus 8 over x squared. And I'm going to rewrite that right now as 8 times x to the negative 2. And that's going to make it easier for us to then um, take the derivative of that. So now we have h of x, and it's a sum of these two functions. And we can just come along then and take the derivative of each of those individually. So the derivative of the sum of those equals the sum of the derivatives, or equals uh, 3 times 5, the product rule, uh, not the product rule, the power rule of taking the derivative. So 3 times 5 times x to the fourth, that is taking this exponent and moving it to the front as a, as a coefficient and then lowering the exponent by 1, plus 8 times negative 2, times x to the negative 3. We've applied this same rule. So brought negative 2 over to the front, and then decreased the exponent by 1. So just to simplify this, 8h prime of x, that's the first derivative of h, equals 15x to the fourth, minus, now, minus 16, minus, because we've got 8 times negative 2, over x to the third. So I've used the properties of negative exponents. 
and x to the negative third is the same as 1 over x to the positive third. So this is our answer. And difference rule, guess what? Dif the difference rule just, just kind of works the same. Um, so if, if I were to say f of x minus g of x, and if I were to then take the derivative of that, I would just get the derivative of that. I would just get f prime of x minus g prime of x. So again, a lot of neat uh, mathematics uh, that lets us do that. But for our purposes, we can just run through these 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 functions and and take the functions, take the derivatives of each of those terms, if you will.